This Varsity Sports Special, Rise Above the Region, 7-on-7 seven seven high school football coverage on Midco Sports Network is presented by Lewis and First Premier Bank. Welcome back to Rise Above the Region 7-on-7, seven seven, and we are through to the championship game in the gold bracket. Two teams undefeated to this point, Jason. You got Harrisburg, who just defeated Sioux Falls, Washington, and Sioux Falls Roosevelt knocked off Fargo South in the other semifinal. Roosevelt's been uh, very good in particular, haven't they? Yeah, there's been one team that has really risen above yeah. the region, and that's Sioux Falls Roosevelt, putting points up at will, putting them up quickly in the game so they don't have to play in any kind of uh, you know competitive game to this point. We'll see if that Harrisburg defense can change things around because that's what's gotten them this far or this far in the tournament so far is playing solid defense. So that's the matchup we'll be looking for. And here is how all of today's bracket play played out. In the morning, we had pool play. You see the four different pools. We had four different teams go undefeated in that pool play going 2-0 which got them into the gold bracket. Now the gold bracket semifinals, first game, Roosevelt taking on Fargo South. Roosevelt got up big early and cruised to a 48-29 victory, getting them to the finals, whereas Harrisburg took on Washington in a lower scoring close game. At the end of the game, the Tigers pulled out ahead and hung on to win 21-15 to give them a chance to be in the finals of the gold bracket. Now, the one cool thing about this seven on seven battle is there is the element of competition, not just practice, not just drills, but when you get into a format like this where winner takes all, it helps spring out a little bit of those competitive juices. So the Harrisburg Tigers out of double A taking on Roosevelt Rough Riders out of triple A for the rise above the region seven on seven championship game. All right, let's get to it here with Harrisburg and Roosevelt. Roosevelt in the yellow jerseys here. And is that a catch by Carter Karstens? Yes, it was, and it was a good one. And then they get a Nate Barnes touchdown here on a little pick route to go up six, uh, six to nothing. Yeah, again, going to Karstens early, cashing in the end zone with several different receivers. And then uh, uh, Torin Devericks to Tyson Jan, the two-point conversion there. It's eight to nothing, Riders out early. And then more defense, Travis Pearson with a pass breakup there for the Rough Riders. Yeah, the defense was amazing on this drive. Headley was 0 for 3 and then threw that pick right there. Evan Warkentine makes him pay for the quick pick six. Kind of lost count of how many interceptions and pick sixes Roosevelt had on the day, but it was a lot of them. Great catch here by Sam Lowe's from Harrisburg. Picks that off the turf, and then Hunter Headley goes to Jack Anderson for a touchdown. Much better drive for Headley. Four for six on that drive. Cashed in with the touchdown. The confidence is a little bit back up. Teams have been getting down early to Roosevelt and just getting buried in this competition. The Tigers hoping to have some life. All right, talk about confidence. Torin Devericks had it all day. Uh, goes to Seth Balloon, who stepped out at the nine-yard line, and then he Devericks to Austin Johnson for the touchdown. Another efficient drive for Devericks. Three for four that time, surgically moving the team down the field. And just going to different guy after different guy, and then Headley to Jack Anderson here right before the half. Did not get in there, and then more rules about defense. Carter Lore breaking that up. Yeah, this one, quick three completions down the field and couldn't quite cash in right before half. And uh, there you go, right at halftime, Tigers not able to cash in. They might need that score the way teams have been having trouble coming back against the Riders. 20-6, to six, Roosevelt in the lead at the half. While we were at the half, let's take this opportunity now to bring you on the other side of the stands, right down onto the field, right into the huddle. Here is some of the best sound on the field that we have heard all day here at Rise Above the Region. All right, here's a coin toss. Let's see if I can catch it. That's, that's, let's do that again. Again. Take that cut. Yeah. <laughs> you can pick that, Nate. It's okay. It's gonna be one of the backside posts or the backside wheel. All right, let's right, go, boy. Right, right, one on one. Right. Right there. So the 51 pivot swing. So the swing takes the linebacker just like the one over there. So it's like going empty. So when that linebacker looked at Iman and stepped up, all of a sudden now it's there for us. Let's go. And now when we get on a big stage on a Friday night, we have all that verbiage, we have all that language, we have all those assignments down, and we can just play it, right? Oh! 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 Brody! Brody! Woo! You animal! Let's go! Yeah! That was waving, Bryce! Good catch! For the middle, back on the middle! Oh! 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 Emilio! 
I didn't put any sunscreen on either, man. My Irish skin. Right, I'm not even Irish, but I got Irish skin. Check, check, you the feds. You the feds. Check, 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 you the feds. I hope they don't air that. Come on, bro, take that back. Yeah, I can't run, man. <laughs> he'll he'll yeah, pull a calf. Right, so, so. Am I sweating or is it raining? Sweat. Let's go, D. Oh, now he's going to act supportive when he's mic'd up. Oh, yeah. Smile big. You always got to. Ball! Bro, where your hands at? You brought your feet today. Where your hands? I got burned. <laughs> Body didn't come that way, but I got burned. <laughs> All right, Jason, uh, back to the gold bracket championship game now. Sioux Falls Roosevelt leading Harrisburg 20-6 to at halftime. Well, we've seen this from Torin Debricks all day long. In the first half, 5 of 8, two touchdowns cashed in. Meanwhile, Hunter Headley, one bad drive, 7 of 14 overall with a touchdown and a pick. But he's looking a little more consistent as we enter the second half. All right, let's get to it. And Harrisburg with the ball here. And not just the defensive backs, but the linebackers making some plays here for Roosevelt. Nick Hookstra with the knockdown there. And then Devericks drives him down the field. Goes to Karstens, goes to Jet Vaughn, hooks up with Nate Varnes coming up here. And then back to Karstens right there. And then they end the drive with an Austin Johnson touchdown on a bullet here from Devericks. This is exactly the kind of day that Torin Devericks had. Five of five on that drive, threw a touchdown, kept Harrisburg guessing, and yes, Harrisburg's got some great athletes on D, but they couldn't catch up with Torin. 26 to six, Roosevelt in the lead here in the second half. Evan Workentin almost another interception for the Rough Riders, and then they get it back. Devericks to Austin Johnson, coming down the right sideline. And then Devericks to Austin Johnson going the other way for a touchdown. Or excuse me, to uh, Seth Ballou here for a touchdown to make it 34-6. to Yeah, once again, a great drive. Four of six that time on that drive with a touchdown. And he throws it to Balloon. So many different receivers. We've seen Austin Johnson all day long. But that frees up guys like Seth Balloon in the end zone. Yeah, Balloon, Johnson, Karstens, Varnes, all these guys. Troy Connect comes in at quarterback here for Harrisburg late in the game. Good throw here to Jim Asmussen for a touchdown. We'll hit Justice Clayton for a two-point conversion here but 34 to 14 is the final Sioux Falls Roosevelt on top so Sioux Falls Roosevelt your two-time champions in this seven on seven event we will get to the most valuable player announcement in just a moment but uh, first take a look at Jason Andera's top 10 Jandy approved plays of the day let's get started Fargo South taking on Lincoln Dawson Weisenberger Gets open. Nice pass by Jack Pfeiffer. And he comes up with a diving leap. Good catch! Good play! Yeah, I agree with Xander Lukowski. That was a good catch. He was mic'd up on this one. Number nine on the day, Carter Karstens. Laying out, going horizontal on the field and coming up with the catch. One of his many great catches and one of Torn Deverick's many great throws. Now O'Gorman's Hunter Thompson. Look at that. Finds the corner of the end zone. Max Tibbetts not only comes up with the ball, he gets his feet in. He shows that ball off for everybody to see. Great catch by Max Tibbetts. In at number seven, the rain is coming down, making, making it uh, even more difficult to catch. But look at the concentration. Great catch by Jack Anderson, who reels it in after it bounces off about three Mandan Braves. That comes in at number seven on your Jandy Approved Top 10 Plays of the Day. At number six, Matt Hagen of Sioux City North. Not only going through traffic, not only pedaling backwards, but catching it off the top of a Yankton Buck helmet to reel it in for the touchdown. Nice play by Matt Hagen of Sioux City North. In at number five, this is an extra point, but it is extra special. And again, the great concentration. Trevor Schmidt through the window, not able to see the ball, bounces off his hand, reels it in for the number five play of the day. In at number four, Austin Johnson. Look at this. That is a tiny window. Goes up over his shoulder, brings it in, and has the wherewithal to dive in for the touchdown. Great day for Austin Johnson. In at number three, Hamlin's Bryce Johnson. That's what I call extending. He goes out for it. Look at that. Concentration, 
picks it up, brings it in, Good play. and also brings in a number three play of the day. In the number two, they only get better from here, folks. And this one is hard to beat. Zach Skolton tied up a little bit with his right hand, reels it in one-handed with his left hand. Crazy catch by Zach Skolton making your number two play of the day. What can beat that? Well, this is the best play I saw all day. In at number one, Logan Utek scrapes the football out of the sky. Look at the leaping ability. Look at the one-handed catch. Look at the touchdown. Great touch by the quarterback, and I agree with Hunter Headley here. Oh boy, that was pretty good. I am here with co-MVPs Torin Debricks and Austin Johnson. Torin, a quarterback, and Austin, a wide receiver for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. They just beat Harrisburg 34 to 14 in the seven on seven champ championship. Torin, first questions for you. So back up last year, Jet Thune gets hurt. You come in, you don't play like a backup. We see that confidence. Today, you continued that confidence. You led your team, made plays, but your team played well around you. How does it feel going into your senior year, going into the fall with that confidence and playing so well? Well, I think this helps us out a lot. We get that confidence and I think we can keep it rolling to the season. Um, we got a good group of guys and I don't know, we've been working, working our tails off this summer and that really gets us gelling together too. All right. And then I heard you guys are best friends. Are. So um, going into your senior year, this one's for Austin. How does it feel that your quarterback, your best friend, is going to be throwing to you for your senior year? Oh, it's a it's an awesome feeling. I just know that he's always going to put the ball right where I can catch it. And it's nice that we have that chemistry. We've been playing together since third grade. So it's a really awesome feeling. All right. Well, congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks, Kelly, and to our MVPs. While Kelly looks for head coach Kim Nelson, just got to say congratulations to both Austin Johnson and Torin Devrick. There's a lot of guys that could have made a case for MVP on the Roosevelt Rough Rider team, but these two guys stepped up all day long. All right, back to Kelly Stewart, who is with head coach Kim Nelson. I am here with Coach Kim Nelson, coach of the Roosevelt Rough Riders. They're the champions today in the Rise Above the Region 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. Coach, not the traditional kind of football we see come fall, obviously, but what did you see out of your team today that you really liked heading into the season? I was really happy with our effort. You know, we um, we tried to throw the ball around a little bit, and, and uh, we're, you know, our quarterback was hot today. and and uh, uh, But I thought with the weather conditions the way they were, a lot of guys getting tired. Um, I thought our guys really responded well, especially late in the day when it got really nasty and and uh, played hard to the end, and that's all we're really looking for this time of year. Uh, just have a great effort every time you get out in the field. All right. Like I said, not the traditional kind of football, but what benefits can your team gain out of a seven-on-seven -seven tournament like this? Well, the skill guys get a chance to work on their skills. Uh, the defense really gets a chance to cover in a really tough situation. It's really tough on the defense when you can't rush the quarterback, you know, and quarterbacks can see the whole field, and they got nobody pressuring them, no, no, nothing to worry about. And so it's easier on offense. So it's really good for our defense to be put under pressure like that from everybody that we play. And, and everybody we played was good. And, and uh, I was really happy with the way our defense responded. We got some young guys over there, and they got a lot of really valuable experience this, today. Um, offensively, um, our, our skill guys played really well. And we, we found some depth at receiver. Uh, Torrin, our quarterback, had a really good day today. And, and so uh, we're excited about the season. And, Today was just a, a, a good way to evaluate some kids and, and see how you look against some good competition. So it was really a good thing. All right. Well, thanks, Coach Nelson. We're looking forward to see what the Rough Riders can do this yeah. season. Can't wait. Back to you guys. Thank you for joining us at the Rise Above the Region 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. And a reminder to check us out every Friday night on Varsity Sports Live at 1030 here on Midco Sports Network. We've got highlights and interviews from high school football in North and South Dakota. Our thanks to Curtis Riggs and his team for a job well done. And from everyone on the Midco Sports Network team, here is wishing you a successful season in high school football.